that we feel find additional funding to do everything that farmers have been doing for generations. Heather Tobin of Ain2, uh, you said that these laws are an attack on farmers. Um, are, you, are you saying that if you're elected to the European Parliament, that you will position Ain2 uh, on the right of European politics, that you'll join with the right-wing MEPs and with the EPP group who are opposing these laws? Well, what I'm saying, there's no solution to the environment without making sure that family farmers can make a living. And that has to be the absolute uh, basic foundation of any approach of Irish MEPs to this issue. And, and this is the major problem. Farmers are in a perfect storm at the moment. Only a third of farmers are actually making a living off the farm. Every year, the number of farmers are falling. The average age of farmers is 58. A third of farmers are now over the age of 65 at this stage. Their income is far lower than, than, than the average income across the state. And what's happening is they're being squeezed ever more by factories and supermarkets and the prices are being pushed lower. The government is refusing to defend them in, term, in terms of a competition authority. And as a result, every single time the government loads regulation and they are being okay, swamped with regulation. I'm asking it's what, hurting what, what your position more. is going to be if you're elected as, as an MEP. Do you want to unwind these laws then? I think that the farmers have to have a guarantee that their production will not be impacted in this. And there is no guarantee that their production won't be impacted in this. You cannot change the water table in a public uh, area of land without affecting the land around it, which could have a serious effect in terms of uh, farmers' own production on this. And the farmers don't trust the government either. Like, the government talked about it just transit. Well, no, the, go the government... The go well, it, honestly, if anybody is listening to farmers at the moment, the level of anger that exists in farming communities in relation to their incomes being hammered and smashed over the last uh, 10 years is incredible. Um, you, you, you have farmers at, at, at the moment who are li literally giving up their land, who, are, who see no future in their land at the moment. There is a pessimism, there's a depression amongst farmers at the moment, and all we need to do and is... So uh, are you saying then that you would keep these laws, but you want them funded? Is that, is that what you would, you would do as a, uh, if you're elected to the European well, Parliament, rather than unwind or unpick the laws as the uh, EPP group wants to do? I, I'm, our position is farmers have to be given an absolute commitment that their own land won't be affected by this, that if, that if there's a change in this, that there is money up front, the money can't just, you can't make the decision and then look for the money afterwards. You have to look for the money at the same time. But a third, and this is the most important thing, Justin, and this is really important for Aintu, we need to get to a situation where farmers can actually make a living from the produce to sell. There's a lot of money in food, but the supply chain means that all that money is landing in the supermarket and the factories. Right. And because of that, and because of the government won't defend the farmers' interests in that supply chain, they are more and more dependent on uh, funding from CAP and, and other sources as well. All right, uh, Pauline O'Reilly. This is a fool's oh. errand, to be, to be honest, because what the government is doing is they're looking to reduce the production of Irish farmers while actually taking in further produce from South America and the Mercosur countries. So the, the well, beef, the beef, the beef, is being, the beef is being produced in those sorry. areas while felling Amazon rainforests and bringing, in the last and bringing weeks. beef back in, into Europe. Okay. And then you have the, the parties like Fine Gael supporting those types of, uh, of projects. Okay. Right. Can I just say we, we, I, 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 Pauline, I'm going to come to you on this one because one of the things uh, the, the government is planning to do is to seek a, an extension of the derogation from the EU uh, nitrates directive, which is designed to clean up rivers and lakes by limiting the use of fertiliser.